Skanksters! Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oopster Skankster here. So now that you have your new HTC One, what better thing to do than to root it? Now, this method I'm going to show you is compatible with the AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint variant of the One. A huge thanks goes out to XD4 member Hasun2000 for developing these easy to use toolkits. Be aware though that this process will erase everything on your device including your pictures and videos. And as always, perform this whole procedure at your own risk. So let's get it started. Step 3. Now what we want to do is extract the toolkit we downloaded earlier. So here's the toolkit. I'm going to double click on it and that's going to open up Win IR Extract Frog and just go to OK and it's going to extract the toolkit. Step 4. Now what we're going to do is open up the toolkit. Upon opening up, you should see this nice little form right here. Goes over here. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is install the HC drivers. Select option 1 and hit go. Hit yes. And it will take you through the installation process for installing the drivers. Alright, step 5. After you install the HTC drivers, now what we want to do is register at HTC developer site. So go to option 2, just select it, and hit go. Pretty much what you need to do is just create an account and you need to keep your web browser open. Slight add, just gonna wait for this to go away. Alright, skip add. Here we go, and now you can create your account and hit register. It's actually important to make sure you go to your email and activate your account. That way, for a later step, you won't have to go through the process of logging back in. So activate your account, then log in. Okay, and keep that up. It will make your life easier when you come to later steps. Alright, step 6. After you register at HTTP Developer's website, what we need to do is get our token ID. Now, make sure option 3 is selected, but before you hit go, connect your device to the computer and make sure USD debugging is enabled. To enable USD debugging, go to Settings, Developer Options, enable it, and go to USD, USB debugging. And make sure that's checked. Then back on the computer, go to option 3 and hit go. Hit OK. A command window, command prompt window should come up. And what it's going to do is going to reboot your device into the bootloader. Once it's in the bootloader, according to instructions, what we need to do is close the first command prompt window, and the second one should come up. So we want to close this one. And now it gave us our token ID right here. What we want to do is copy and paste the message using Mark and copy and paste it to Notepad or any other Word document. Um, make sure you get the beginning and end in there, and just be careful with it. It takes a little practice. <laughs> so afterwards, we can close this command window. We're going to go to Submit Token ID, and hit Go. We have an ad that's going to come up, so... Then we're going to scroll down and go to the Token Identifier. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to take our... Token Identifier, copy it, and then we're going to paste it right here hit submit and there you go token submit it successfully all right so after you get your token submitted what you want to do is go back to your email because you will receive a message from HTC this message is important because it contains the unlock that bin code so just download that and keep in mind where it's at because you're gonna need it in the next step all right now we're ready to unlock the bootloader make sure you're on option 5 and hit go pretty much it's gonna wipe out your all your memory and Everything's going to be gone forever. So, yeah. Alright, now what we're going to do is we want to navigate to where you put your unlock bin stuff. Oh, we went to the wrong folder. Here we go. And we'll go to open. And now on our phone, it's going to say, do we want to unlock the bootloader? We want to navigate. Uh, we're going to navigate to yes using the volume rocker and hit the power mm -hmm. 
and our phone should reboot. And our bootloader is unlocked. After your device has rebooted, take the super user SU that you downloaded earlier, copy it, and move it to your HD1. And paste. After that, go back to the program and go to boot into recovery and hit do command. Hit OK. Make sure the device is still connected. And your device should boot into recovery. Inside of recovery, go to install. Then navigate down to you see your zip right there. And swipe to confirm. And successful. Now we can reboot system. And guess what? You are now officially rooted. All right, so I just ran through the setup. And to confirm that you do have root on your device, go to the app drawer, and you should see an app called Super User SU. And that confirms that you have root. All right, guys, so that's how to root HD1. If you have any problems or any questions, feel free to leave a response or contact me. Um, I'm on pretty much any social network. Um, and yeah, just try your best and take it slowly, but it's definitely worth doing it. So thanks for watching, and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.